Hello, I'm Martin from Cycle Streets, which runs the UK-wide Cycle Journey Planner at CycleStreets.net. Our aim is to help provide cyclists with the best possible routes for their journey, and we use OpenStreetMap data for this. More detailed information about cycling infrastructure means that we can suggest better and better routes for them. In this short tutorial, I'm going to explain how to use the new Potlatch 2 merging tool to merge in some excellent new data available to OpenStreetMap. On the screen, I've come to the DFT Cycling Data 2011 project page on the OpenStreetMap wiki. The page gives full information about the background to this project. But near the top is a link where we can view and later edit the data that's been made available. What we see on the screen now is a list of all the parts of England where the data has been processed and made available to us, including all of London and many parts of the country. In due course, all of England will be available. I'm going to click on Cambridge since this is the area that I live in and am most familiar with. This will load Potlatch 2, which is the standard website editor available on the OSM website. The data that we're going to be using comes from the DFT, the Department for Transport, which has released as open data a new data set of cycling related information from some recent survey work they've undertaken. We've been working with the Department for Transport and with Cycle City Guides and with Andy Allen from OpenStreetMap to process this for OSM use. We've also commissioned from Andy a merging tool to enable this data and potentially other data sets in future to be merged in by manual inspection. As you can see on the screen, Potlatch 2 has now loaded and it's running in the wireframe mode. This ensures that this, the system runs as quickly and as easily as possible. As you can see, we can click on any street and, as usual, this comes up with the information in OpenStreetMap about that street. So, for example, this is James Street. If I click on the Advanced tab at the bottom, on the left-hand side, you can see the underlying information, the tags, about this street. For example, that it's a residential highway, that it has a maximum speed limit of 20 miles an hour, and that has, and its name is as shown. And of course we can browse around and view and click on any of the data. However, as you'll notice, as well as the thin wireframe data, which is from OpenStreetMap, there's also some data in orange. And this is the data from the Department for Transport, the external data set. I'm going to zoom in to an area of the city that I know quite well, as I cycle here quite often. And I'm going to zoom in so that things are kept as quick and easy as possible to edit with. So on the screen you can see the DFT data, which is represented by the orange lines, and if I click on one, you can see the underlying data for that. So for example, this bit of data shows that it's part of a bridge, and that there's a cycleway, with an estimated width of 2.5 metres, which is quite wide by British standards, and that it's lit, and that it has a paved surface. If I now instead carefully click on the OpenStreetMap line, the thinner one, which is in the same location, you can see that by contrast it currently has less information, less detailed information. So what would be excellent is if we can merge in this external data into the OSM dataset. And the new merging tool makes this easy. So firstly, simply click on the orange line, the external data from the DFT, and, and this is the crucial step, Holding down on your keyboard the control key, or if you're using a Macintosh, the command key, and then very carefully click on the OSM line. And what this means is that we want to apply the data in the background layer, the orange data, orange line, to the foreground layer, the thin OSM data. And because we've selected both of these, you can see on the left we have this new merging panel. And this shows in, the, in one column here the OSM data, for example, that it's a bridge and it has a cycleway. And in this column, the background data from the DFT, which also shows that it has this estimated width of 2.5 metres, that it's lit and has a surface of paved. And what we can now do is to manually inspect these and merge this in. 
So for example, I know that this does indeed have an estimated width of 2.5 meters. So I'm going to click on that button to allow that to go in. I also know that it's lit and that the surface is indeed paved. And so having done that, I'm going to mark the feature as complete. In other words, I've reviewed all of this information. And as you can see, that previously orange line has now turned blue and grey. So it's greyed out, showing that it's been dealt with. So let's do the same thing with one of the other nearby lines. Again, I click on the orange line, and then holding down the control key, or the command key on a Mac, I click very carefully on the OSM line that I want to apply the data to. And again, we can see the merging panel. Yes, there is an estimated width of 2.5 meters, that's right. I'm not sure that actually this isn't lit, so I'm, I'm going to leave that. And lastly, that I do know the surface is asphalt. So again, I'll allow that in. And having reviewed all this information, even though I left one out, I can mark this as fully reviewed, as complete. And again, it's greyed out. And we can move around the city and merge in all the data that, that we, that we, that's available. So let's do, just do this one more time. Here's the orange DFT data. I'll hold down control or on a Mac command and click on the OSM data and indeed the width is correct. This is at the edge of the bridge, so it's not part of the bridge itself. And I'm going to mark that as complete. Occasionally, you might find the data doesn't quite match up in terms of the location. So for example, if this line here had actually meant to be applied to this line here, I can do exactly the same as I've done before. I can hold down the control key, and instead of selecting the line that's over it, I can select a different OSM line, and that allows me to apply the data to a nearby line. When I've made all the changes, I can use the save in the top left corner in the normal way. We very much encourage cyclists to go around their city and to merge in this data. And if we go back to the wiki page, you can see there's a link where we can check the progress of each area. So if I click on Cambridge, which is the data set that I've just been using, and scroll down, you can see that it shows me of the 1,417 ways of information that 9% of these have been assessed. In other words, I've marked them as complete, I've reviewed them. We very much encourage cyclists and other OpenStreetMap contributors to merge in this data. It will mean that cycle streets and any other routing engine that implements these more advanced attributes, such as cycle lane widths, can take a more considered opinion on whether this infrastructure is useful for cycling. It will also mean that these attributes become more commonly supported in, in all kinds of OSM products, improving the quality of OSM data more generally. If you have any questions, please do contact us via the contact page on the Cycle Streets website, um, and we very much hope that you will merge in this data and enjoy doing so. Thank you very much.